Jigsaw. Jigsaw, what are you doing? Say hi. You want to say hi to the camera? Hmm? Ah, uh, I'm gonna make this video short then. Alright, so, anyway, I went down this, uh, bit of a rabbit hole uh, the other day. Uh, <laughs> I was looking up how to grind bones for a art project in the future, and I ended up somehow in the history behind grinding for the uh, Anyway, um, historically speaking, and if you trace back as far as the 16th century, it's more specifically uh, 1590. Uh, 1590. Uh, during the wars of religion in France, um, excuse me for butchering his name, uh, Pierre de Lestu. I have no time to teach. Anyway. Um, had written down accounts as far as what local partisans were doing to survive as um, King Henry IV before he was actually King Henry IV was doing what he could for the army to basically starve the defendants. Um, and, you know, they were trying to figure out, okay, how are they going to survive? Um, there was a council meeting or you know, an assembly now as far as um, June 1590, if I remember correctly, um, where to get said bones, and I'm probably going to pronounce this incorrectly as well. The Charnel House, which is basically um, where they put the remains dug up in the process of creating new graves. And that's where they were sourcing some bones. Obviously it didn't go well. Uh, bones aren't known to be nutritious. But centuries later, at least in written down records, they used bones for the fertilizer. Uh, traced back in France again. Um, in 1815. Um, post the Neapolitan Wars, you know, after that, it was taken care of. So bodies were left on the battleground essentially for a few years. And so they figured, okay, we're going to take the bones out of the remains, some of them were horses, but it's just them. And eventually they were sent to bone grinders to use this fertilizer. Because despite the fact that they're not nutritious, they have a lot of minerals, calcium, obviously. And so bones can be used for fertilizer. And I'm going down that rabbit hole a little bit more, and it's still modern practice. And um, you make it into a compost tea, or you can use it dry. Uh, a lot of the methods tend to be uh, around the around, around realms so of basically baking, pressure cooking and high temperatures to make them as grow as possible to make basically a powder meal uh, crushed and it can be mixed in with like wood sawdust, uh, coffee grounds, or it can just be straight dry and mixed in with soil as it. And so it was like, okay, so I was just trying to figure out as far as like resin is, mixtures and products, I would do this. I did not anticipate that. Anyway, so I will post obviously uh, the sources on where I got this information because there's a few websites actually. As far as you know, the bone spread because back to that main point, obviously it failed for obvious reasons, but it was still an interesting prospect that that was for a short arc of time a thing that was attempted, but I guess you know. When you're starved and desperate during times of war, you will do what you feel is a need, a necessity. Uh, I honestly just didn't expect to actually go that far down. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if I find any more interesting trivia, I will of course post about it. Um, see whoever decides to watch this later.